Life finds a way, said Gandhi, or Jeff Goldblum, one of them. And one of them was right. Life does find a way to turn your comfortable middle-class lifestyle into a total fucking nightmare. Are you mad, fam? You prick, bro. I had a job. Are you leaving? No. I had a loving wife. Why would you think that? Oh, just for You're that leaving me. I had a house with a great neighbourhood watch and reliable bin collections. But then it all went to shit rather quickly. How's Frank? Dying? He's not that long left. Shit. He wants to see you again. Me? All of you. And so we began. That's not good. Four old pals out to see their dying friend one last time. Frankie. 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 Which sounds very straightforward. I had a degree in event management. I had a weather-appropriate jacket. However, the other three... Toilet wouldn't flush. Well, one's a complete idiot. What, 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 what do I need to do? Just on the same useless cup as you were at school. One of them has more problems than the Middle East. <laughs> and one of them is to women what beat is to the hairs between your arsehole and your ball sack. So, how do you swing, then? But nothing could stop us. Is something the matter, love? They're all freaks! Got a hotel full of geriatric swingers. Where did you get it? Or whatever that was. Or a pair of deadly Russian mobsters. Morning, dears. Room for two. Where are they? You tell me now, homies. Not even Neville, who just sort of turned up out of nowhere after everyone had forgotten about him. Much like herpes. Oh, thank God for... All right, Adam. Mad this, isn't it? Ah! Gaz, onwards. But Frankie needed us. He was our friend, after all. Oh, no. And we would do anything for him. Even that. You didn't. Oh, you literally went through shit, Peter. <laughs> because that's friendship. And real friendship doesn't age. It doesn't die. It remains through everything, no matter what. You don't get to talk because it's your fault someone may or may not be lying dead in there because you're a bad friend and a fucking shit face. Friendship survives.